Alright folks, welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father and I'm about to do a reaction now for a channel member, Sharon George. Thanks very much Sharon for your support and this request. It's not a song I'm familiar with but it has an awful lot of views on YouTube so it's obviously an absolute cracking song. Um, the link to the original video, as always, will be in the description section below and if you'd like a personalised video request and shout out, please check out our Patreon account in the description section below also or simply join the channel as a member like Sharon has and get your requests through that way. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and put the bell on um, and if you've nothing to comment, just comment hashtag no more talking, let's go or hashtag veterans battle still rages. Um, and also check out our Rumble channel. Rumble's like YouTube, you can get videos on there and some of those videos aren't available on our YouTube channel so check that out too and subscribe. It's the Don's channel which is our one word. Well then, Sharon has requested Daddy's Hands by Holly Dunn um, and as I said, don't know the song, not familiar with the artist but really, really looking forward to it. So on that note, no more talking. Let's go! Was soft and kind when I was crying. Daddy's hands were hard as steel when I'd done wrong. Daddy's hands weren't always gentle, but I don't understand. There was always love. Oh, look at that.
well, that's the end of the song and the video, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I would say it's pretty hard for the people who have maybe lost their father, their father's no longer with them. Um, but when you listen to that song, and obviously singing about our own father, I'd imagine in that song, or whoever wrote it, um, you know, don't take for granted um, things in your life when it comes to your parents, maybe in this case your father. Um, don't take it for granted those moments. Yes, you might have been chastised, told off at times, but it was all for um, the right reasons, not to be bad. Um, it's in order to like give you, um, actually, usually um, to show you the right things to do. Um, but I prefer the message of the the the, the love in daddy's hands, um, and you also you also. Just listening to that there, if you are a father like I am as well, you want to be approachable, you want to be someone your children, yes, obviously look up to, but um, can confide in. Um, so even if it's something that they think, oh, I shouldn't talk to my dad about that, you don't want that to be the case. You always want it to be a case of the old scenario of the door's always open, come speak to me. Anything that you need to get off your chest, anything that might be a burden to you, don't be afraid to come and speak to you. You want to be that father that, um, yes, you, you, you can be um, disciplinarian at times, but ultimately you want to be the, the, a, a loving father, somebody that your kids love and um, look up to, but also um, can speak to about anything. Um, and you just hope that you're doing a good job and that um, those sorts of values and morals that you have um, will rub off on them and give them a bit of a work ethic, a bit of respect, obviously respecting their elders, all these things you would have learned when you were young. Those sorts of things rub off onto your children. Um, a bit of like things like integrity, respect, all these sorts of good things that you would like them, you would like in yourself. You want them to be able to have as well. So for when they have a family, it's uh, the building blocks are there, and it's easier for them as well. Uh, some parents get it completely wrong. There's bad people out there, um, and in some cases, um, children are like, well. I saw the wrong thing to do, um, I know that that's wrong and I didn't like that and I'm going to make it uh, my job to raise my kids the right way um, and not be like that because I know what that felt like. So sometimes a negative story can actually become a positive one but 9 times out of 10 a bad, bad upbringing for a child is going to lead to another, uh, an endless cycle if you like um, but there's a lot to be said for a good dad, a dad that's around, a father that's around their children um, and I, I genuinely believe that makes for better children. Um, so many statistics now where it's a single family, a single parent home uh, and the mother's trying her best, maybe even in some cases now the, the father's trying his best, he's the single parent um, but they can't, they're trying to be mum and dad but it's very difficult to do both jobs so I firmly believe that um, having both parents there uh, and, a, and a present father, somebody that really works hard, tries his best and um, obviously um, does all the, the things uh, you should do but also um, you are going to get things wrong, yes you're going to get things wrong but um, yeah, I think I think a lot of parenting is just being there, um, I'm, I'm, you know, being around, being there and um, just as I say, um, having that sort of approach where, yes, um, you can, you can um, be disappointed in them at times and telling them off, but also being approachable and being um, showing your love and your affection as well when needed, which is pretty much all the time. Children should always be showing an affection like that there, showing that you love them. Um, uh, one hundred percent believe that, but. Um, yeah, brilliant, love the song, so thanks very much Sharon, it's different from something I've done because it's a parent's perspective now with children, which is good because I'm a father, three daughters, so it's really nice to be able to um, share a little bit of that side of um, myself as well and how much they mean to you. Um, 
But that's my perspective on parenting, just a, obviously a brief bit difficult at times. If it's like parenting's very, very hard, there isn't a, a, an official manual that shows you how every child's different as well. So not all children are going to respond to certain things. It's about learning, knowing your child and understanding um, how to deal with their needs and their wants individually. Um, but as well as the whole for the family too. Um, so everybody's being included, there's no favouritism because in some houses there is by the way which is, blows my mind, I don't understand how any parent can have a favourite child, it, it just simply does not happen in my head so I don't know how it happens in other homes, it just, but it does happen which is crazy, um, but yeah. Anyway, thanks very much Shan, greatly appreciated the video request but ultimately your support to the channel is greatly appreciated and um, the link to the original video as always description section below so is a patreon account if you'd like uh, to check out um, that that'd be fantastic or simply join the channel as a member and get your requests through that way and as i said at the very start don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and put the bell on and do those couple of hashtags um, and also don't forget to subscribe to us on rumble where we are the don's channel thanks very much everyone i am the don father and i'll see you all soon Goodbye.